Somebody said, my friend actually, because I'm always drinking something in my videos. And it's true. Because I'd be sitting down here for like a good two, three hours. So I got to stay hydrated. Today's drink is, aha, sparkling water. I wish that was an ad, but. But not. Let's go. Oh, take out some notes. Don't play. Do some more on some paper. Yeah. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Graphing, linear equations, and slope intercept form. How to graph a line in slope intercept form. Ooh, ooh, okay, isolate y means get y by itself. You see what slope intercept form looks like, right? Plot the y intercept. Use slope to rise slash run. Draw the line. Is that easy, baby? Okay, example number one. This is your equation. You need to decide. First, you need to isolate y. Y is already isolated. Praise him. What's your y intercept? Negative 4. Right? What is your slope? Negative 2. Very good. Now, your slope needs to be a rise over a run, right? So, negative 2 over 1. Anytime your slope is a whole number, you put it over 1. To make it a fraction so it has a rise and a run okay so first you're gonna plot your y-intercept on the graph so your y-intercept is gonna go down four doop, 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 four okay so you from the y-intercept what you're gonna do is you're gonna do your rise your rise is negative two so rise goes down two and then run over one swoop that's your line I know you're like wow that was so easy I know it really do be that easy it really do be anyway example number two why is isolated again we love to see it okay so you have y intercept which is two you have your slope remember it's a whole number so when you have a whole number make it into a fraction by doing what putting it over one so 4 over 1 is your slope. You're going to plot your y-intercept. So plus 2. And you're going to rise up 4. And you're going to run over 1. So when I do that, <clears throat> I got my rise over run. And then there's my line. Yay! Use something straight to draw your line, like your school ID or a ruler. Most of you have school ID, so that's why I always say school ID. Okay? All right. Level two. Level two is, oh my gosh, it's not isolated. Ah! This, this is sparkly water, so it's carbonated. Make me want to burp, but that would be unladylike, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway. So I have 2x plus y equals negative 4. I got to get y by itself. So minus 2, minus 2. I'm going to cancel out the negative 2. y equals negative 2x minus 4. Remember, when you're isolating y, you want the 2 first, the slope first, and then you want the constant, the negative 4, after. Okay? You're going to be tempted. Two mistakes that I see students make all the time is they want to add the 2 and the 4 to make it 6x. Don't do that. They're not like terms. You cannot combine them. You have to put them right next to each other. So because you have to put them right next to each other, what you're going to go ahead and do is you are going to go ahead and put the x term first, and then you're going to put the constant last. So that's why I put negative 2x first and then the negative 4 second. Okay? So now that y is isolated, I can determine what my y-intercept is. What's my y-intercept? Negative four, very good. And then what's my slope? You said negative two? Oh my gosh, so good. 
So we're going to plot our y-intercept, which is negative 4. Oh, I didn't even identify my slope yet. My slope is negative 2. So now, remember, what did I say about slopes when they're whole numbers? How do you turn them into a fraction? You put it over 1. Uh-huh. So you're going to go put that over 1. So that means you're going to go down two spaces, and you're going to go to the right one space. And when you do that... Yay! There's your graph. Okay, example number four. I have my equation is in standard form, so I need to get it into slope intercept form, which means I need to isolate y, right? So this is my equation. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide by four. Because I gotta get x by its, I mean y by itself. So when I do that, I'm gonna get y equals negative one fourth x minus three. Why one fourth? Because there's an imaginary one in front of the x. So when I divide one by four, it's one fourth. We just leave it as a fraction. Because remember, we like our slope as a fraction, okay? Because it gives us a rise and it gives us a run. So rise is negative one run is four but first we have to identify our y-intercept which number is our y-intercept did you say three how did you know i'm just impressed so that's going to go on the graph so then we're going to do negative one um is my rise and then sorry negative one fourth is my slope let me start there right my rise is negative one my run is going to be four so we're gonna go down one and we're gonna run over four spaces. Boop. And there you have it. That is how you graph a line and slope intercept form. Okay, so let's say you have special case lines. So I have a Hoy line and I have a Bucks line. So when the equation is y equals negative four, you notice that there's no x in this equation right? This is a special case line. When you just have y and a number, there's no x rolling up in there. You, we use an acronym called HOI. My Algebra 1 teacher taught me this when I was in Algebra 1 way back when. And she taught me that HOI stands for H is horizontal. O is not really an O. It's zero because that's what it has. It has a zero slope and y equals a number so y equals a number is what the equation looks like y equals negative four y equals a number anytime i see that it should trigger something in my brain that says this is a horizontal line so all i have to do is i'm going to go to find a negative four on the y-axis you see me and i'm just going to plot a point horizontal okay the way that I remember horizontal lines go left to right is horizontal looks like the horizon. If you've ever been to the beach where the sky meets the water is a horizontal line because it goes from left to right. So horizontal like the horizon. So I can plot another point anywhere. Okay? Doesn't matter where just as long as it's left or right. And once I do that, that's going to give me my completely straight horizontal line. And then so that's our first special case line then we have our second special case line so this is just x equals a number so I use the term vux vertical line again my algebra 1 teacher taught me this I'm 31 now <laughs> so it's been a while but it still helps me vertical line undefined slope and x equals a number. Anytime I see an equation, because look at that equation, it don't got no y in it, right? It just has an x. Oh my goodness. So that should automatically trigger my brain and tell my brain, oh, if this equation is just x and a number, that means it's a vertical equation. And so I'm going to go to the x-axis and I'm going to find a 2 on the x-axis. And then I know vertical lines go up and down. So that means I'm just going to plot a point somewhere up or down. Doesn't even matter. And then I should just draw my line through those two points. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. 
Okay, I hope that that was helpful. And yeah, you should go back through, see if you can do them on your own without my help. And then if not, I'll see you in the next one. You know, like, subscribe, share with your friends, all of that good stuff.